Hey friends, it's Kaylee Bird, and welcome to my studio. You probably don't recognize it because it is a new studio for me. I am here at my first artist residency since coming back to the mainland from Hawaii, and I just wanted to give you a little update vlog today. I wanted to tell you really about three things about my current residency that I've got going on right now. I want to tell you about the next one I've got coming up in Tennessee, so more travels, yes. And then I also want to tell you there's been some screwy stuff going on with my YouTube comments lately, and I just wanted to kind of briefly tell you guys about that since I get a lot of commenters on my videos. I just want to make sure you know what's going on with that. So stick around, make sure you pop that subscribe button for all the artsy travels and goodness and adventures and all the good things. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the little catch up today, guys. Thank you for being here. So already my artist residency here at the Highlands Art League has been like a dream come true. I mean, check out my amazing studio space. I get this whole giant studio to myself. I've already decorated. Oh yeah, those are my vegetable flags. I have already decorated it up and honestly, it is one of the biggest spaces I've ever had to my own. So basically the way this residency works is I am given this amazing little apartment, right? I've got my little couch, sitting room area, got my bedroom back here, and I'm given this amazing little apartment, and it is actually in the very back of a little gallery. So I am living within this gallery space, which is actually on the same grounds as an art league that does community outreach programs and classes and has uh, another museum and everything. So basically, what I'm doing here is I volunteer 20 hours of my time a week, whether it's through teaching classes, um, doing some senior outreach programs, I'm doing a, a teen open studio one day a week. Um, what else? Oh, I'm helping set up and break down any art exhibits. Oh, I was a, a private or a secret juror for a show. Um, so just kind of all kinds of things that I'm helping out the Art League with, and in return, I'm staying in this amazing place. And my residency here is for seven weeks, although they have um, <laughs> an open an invitation for me to come back whenever I want to, to come help them out some more. Um, but it's really amazing. It's been a dream come true. I literally, you know, I live in an art gallery right now. I'm learning so much. I'm able to develop and teach some new classes and that kind of thing. And I mean, you can't really beat just sitting on a beautiful lake in Florida during the winter months. I mean, I'm not in Hawaii anymore, but Florida's pretty good after that. <laughs> this residency has been an amazing experience. I've done things such as help to prepare and host art events, as well as hosting open house studios and workshops for folks of all ages. There is nothing more that I love than getting in with a tight-knit artistic community. And I've even had the opportunity to do something super new for me, which is live painting at one of our open house events. It was really fun. I was a little nervous, but it went off well. I can't wait to finish the other part on our next open house. And they've even invited me to have a number of my works in their gallery while I'm here as well. Southern Tennessee where I'm doing another residency for four weeks although I do have the option to extend it um, but it's gonna be a lot of fun too this one is gonna be on a 17 acre farm with uh, miniature donkeys and chickens and it's basically just a very quiet rustic um, kind of refurbished old farmhouse um, where I will be allowed to just be free with my art and uh, there I will be volunteering um, as part of my stay, but it won't be in nearly as many hours of the week, so I'll just be there soaking it up, painting, doing whatever I can. I'm not sure if it's close enough to any towns to have any teaching opportunities, but I am going to look into it. But I'm so excited. Um, and then after that, I will be going to Chattanooga as well as Nashville. I've got um, friends in one, family in the other, and then possibly, hopefully, fingers crossed, maybe doing a little teaching and or some art modeling uh, around Tennessee when I'm there. So. I'm pretty much booked up until um, like end of March, mid-April, something like that, just on all the adventures and stuff. So make sure you guys are sticking around because I'm gonna take you with me everywhere I go. 
And if you're interested in the most personal look at this little birdie's artist life, make sure you jump on my Birds of a Feather newsletter down below where I get even more personal than I do here on YouTube. And you'll hear about all the great adventures first. I just wanted to briefly chat about comments real quick. So I just wanted to say for one, Thank you so much everybody who comments and writes questions and is supportive and complimentary and all the wonderful things on my videos. Like not only does it help me in the algorithm, which is awesome, but it also like makes me know that I'm doing the right thing, that you guys are finding my videos helpful. Or if there's like something that you didn't quite get, then like a little bit of like still polite, but construct constructive criticism or whatever, like really goes a long way because I'm making my videos for you guys. So I want them to be as good as possible to you guys. <laughs> Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I literally just discovered that there is like a spam folder that um, YouTube um, like goes through your comments and puts some of them in a spam folder just as if you had email and I never knew that. So I literally just discovered a few days ago this spam folder full of like, I don't even know, it was like 100, 150 comments, which is a lot. I'm not, I don't have a huge channel. So that's like a lot. It's like a backlog going back two years of comments that I never saw that Instagram held in another folder thinking they might be spam. And literally out of all those, there was maybe like, I don't know, eight or 10 that were just like super obvious spam or were just very, very rude, you know, or, you know, disgusting or something like that. Like, no thanks on your comments on how I look, okay? <laughs> no thanks. Um, but, uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know real quick um, that I've been going through all of those and answering them because I want to clear out my inbox and the spam box and everything completely and it will not let you clear it out until you have answered it. So even if somebody wrote like, nice job like two years ago, I'm like, thank you like right now. So just so you know, if you're getting some weird responses on comments you wrote like a really long time ago, that's why because I'm just now seeing them. Um, and I just wanted to really briefly touch on like rude comments. Like you guys, I am so busy. I am running the entire Kaylee Bird art show, this channel, my Instagram, applying for you know these residencies and things. I'm doing all this on myself and like I barely have enough time to respond to comments and things that are positive and energetic and wonderful. But you better believe I have zero time to mess with negative or derogatory comments. Like you're welcome to leave them, but I'm just gonna delete them. Like. Um, I used to kind of every once in a while try to like maybe put a positive spin or you know you know defend myself in some way but you guys I just don't have the time I don't have the time nor do I care like 99% of this feedback I get is very positive and you can't please everyone and so I'm just not really concerned <laughs> about pleasing you if you're not here to be pleased like I don't really care I also um, don't care about my numbers to all L to all else like to the end of all else you know what I mean so like I have no problem blocking people. I really don't care. I don't care if that gives me one less subscriber or whatever. So anyways, just keep it positive or upbeat or just get completely ignored and have fun wasting your own time because um, yeah, I just, I don't get a lot of negative comments, but uh, but I'm just like, I'm totally done with them. So anyways, we'll just, we won't, we won't pay attention with those anymore. Um, and last but not least, if you are commenting on my videos and you never get a response, Check down below for this video that I found. So there is this thing, every once in a while I will go and there's like on my you know, YouTube creator homepage, it shows me notifications, I click on that and it gives me like, it's kind of like on Facebook or like Instagram will give you like a little teaser of the comment. Like it'll say like the first like sentence or two and then I'll click on it and it just won't be there. And I'll go to the video and it's just not there. And like, so it doesn't happen very often, but every once in a while, like I can see it and it's like some question or poignant thought. And then there's just no way for me to see the whole thing. There's no way for me to respond. And then this person who's taken the time to write this very thoughtful comment, like basically gets ignored. And I hate that. It makes me feel so bad. And I've looked all over online to try to figure out why this happens. And I can't, the closest I've found, <clears throat> excuse me, is this video that I'll link down below. It's some weird thing about the Google Plus settings on your individual device. So if you've ever written me something, especially something that was like thoughtful um, or a, you know a deep question, like check and see if maybe you have some weird settings or something according to this video. I don't know because I just want you guys to know that I appreciate the comments so much and I really, it is my goal to answer each and every single one of them thoughtfully. So I love you guys. I will keep you here forever. Um, but oh, if you want to help support me on this journey, just stick around. 
Yay! And if you guys would like to help support me on any of these journeys, because while I am earning a lot right here, I am not earning a lot right here at the time, you could go to my website, link down below, and grab some stickers and buttons. Everybody loves stickers and buttons, and I recently got new big buttons. I am not even lying to you guys, the quality of these buttons is like amazing. They are beautiful and don't even get me started on my vinyl stickers. Seriously, I've had some on my water bottle from a previous printing for like three years and they still look amazing. You can get all the fun things on my website. Look Anyways, at the link got, below. I got all kinds of good stuff for good prices and bundles and everything. So if you want to help put a little gas in the old spaceship <laughs> to help me take off to my next adventure, grab some stickers and buttons. That would be a big help. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being so supportive and so amazing.